Yeah, I get a question I want to ask you. You, you. All right. Are they asked here? Uh, no. Ever since, like, you come Ghana, what be them, like, your favorite street food? Something maybe you could buy for roadside. No, be heavy food, though, like, you just do roadside where you see something. Where uh, this thing, I don't know the name, the thing that it, it looks like, you know, Kuli Kuli. Kuli Kuli. Do you know Kuli Kuli? Yes, I know Kuli Kuli very well. It looks like Kuli Kuli, but it's not Kuli Kuli. They use uh, corn or something like that. It's Kuli Kuli. What the one they use? Uh, granite. Granite. The one granite. They use for Kuli Kuli. Okay, in Nigeria, that one is called Kuli Kuli. Mm -hmm. But Ghana own, the one they use maize, mm -hmm. the corn drum. That be the one you like. Yes. Uh, in, uh, we call it um, Atifufui. That's mostly done in the Vota region. Mm. Yeah, that's Atifufui. Just similar. Apart from that one, which other one? That's the one I like. I'm, that's not the one. So, soya. Yeah. Mm, I don't like soya. You don't like soya? Mm. I don't um, take soya, but. Have you tried uh, kebab before? Yes, I used to like kebab. I why? Why? I don't know why. I just stopped liking it. I have one ticket. Uh, what about uh, roasted corn or boiled corn? Roasted corn. Mm -hmm. Your corn is different from our corn. How? So it's uh, very different from our corn. So I don't understand it. Like in what way? Is it in the taste or the size or? Our corn is a bit more sweet. Um, more sweet. Yes. yes. I don't know. If it's it depends on the one you stated actually. Like when you uh, when it comes to the softness, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. The corns you sell in the street here, mm -hmm. they are hard, most of, mostly hard, not sweet, and white. I uh, will use yellow. We um, sell yellow corn. This this the, white one we don't use it. We don't eat it for like it's used for flour. The, uh, <laughs> these are those people that sell by the roadside. They don't like most of the times they don't sell corns that they've harvested that same day. Maybe two days or three days. But that might that Nigeria, might be the reason for the hard like be, it's been hard. If you go to Nigeria, mm -hmm. test corn. You you will eat like because maybe because of competition. Maybe mm -hmm. some some of them will soak it even if they bought it long time. They soak it like this in water. This water they still soak it and, and that even the well, sweetness it's not, will reduce. It's not it will soak a lot of water and then the sweetness will reduce. No, these people they will soak it and pour sugar inside. This people our own. Uh huh. That's the that's the difference. So, but when you test it, you know it's nice. See, okay. well, maybe maybe if I get that, maybe if you get that, I will know maybe the difference will be there. But this uh, this place, uh, because of no competition, if you people that are selling food there. Uh, you are talking about Maggie. Uh, what about Maggie? Do you know what the yes, one of the guys there is doing tomorrow? If I if I go like this, I say you will tell me what you want to buy. I want to and then I'll say I want to buy back before you know it, you just leave. <laughs> For like well, why? I don't know. Like she has doing it one time. She will go and be attending to other people or uh, sometimes she'll tell me that you know she want more than what to buy. But when you bring when she brings it in, it's not what I want. <laughs> Yeah, Ghana for you. Yeah, that's that's Ghana for you. If you go to where there's competition. Mm. Uh, so like about uh your customers about breakfast in Ghana. Which one would you say? Watch it. It's what I eat in the morning. Like watch it every day. Oh. So why not try something like tea, cocoa? Mm -hmm. It will give you running to work. Africans for you. <laughs> no, I'm roaming the street. Yeah. Some people they are similar position from other people. That, that's, people. that's what I'm saying. Africans for you. It's not Africans for you. Some white people they don't like taking things in money. Yeah. You they have setting effect on them. The so that's the effect it will have on you actually. Hmm? Is that the effect it will have on you? That's why you don't yes. like. I'm going to make my like if I take hot or less um no good. Mm. If I take something hot, it will upset, uh, upset my stomach. Mm, upset it, maybe. Uh, have you heard of Liha before? Yes. Liha is too sugary. It's too sugary. Yes. And I realized that I don't make sure. See, so, in, in last year, uh, when when I didn't realize what I was doing, I took a lot of sugary things. Every time I'm buying medicine, every time I'm going, sometimes I'm forcing. Mm. But now, 
I can't remember the last time I went to the hospital. Like I remember the last time I went to buy all this. Uh, do you do you mean that like fat, like street foods in Ghana? Most of them, the liquid ones are sugar or what? Liha, liha, sugar. <laughs> um, this uh, minerals. Uh, As for the bottled ones, that. everybody knows that sugar. it's sugar. Yeah, bread, sugar. I know they talk chop bread. Again. You wear the chop sugar bread. We get tea bread, we get butter bread, yeah, we, they push sugar. we get wheat bread, we get uh, different different cake bread. All of them, they put sugar for top. But, 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 but tea bread, sugar, no thing say. Then we get white bread powder for top. What we are talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm nice to know. So what's making it sweet? Which there's no sugar in it. Like, I, I, would, I would say, okay, there's less sugar in it, but not as much. We still sh- fucking sugar. So I don't want sugar anymore. Now, like... The only thing that made me sick I was that I was sleeping on the floor. Uh, I didn't realize it, it was giving me some sugar. But sugar? You know where you know have... <laughs> so what do you want to ask? Uh, there is one, people call it Fula. And Fula. Be, yeah. I have not heard of that. The, uh, there is a different name. That woman is selling it. That Zungo lady around uh, Van Manasseh. And the white something. Yes, have you tried it before? I've like, tried it before, but it's fucking cool. Have you ever come across it in Nigeria before? See, Nigeria is very big. There you is... come to my my side, mm. like any districts, eastern side, you need to be ready to find it. But if you go to north, you yeah. see a lot of rubbish here because they have Christians. Hello, I am a Chinese man here. I'm trying to explore Ghana. Lost Africa. <laughs> Hello, I'm from China. I'm going to show you where we are going to chase away. The white guys, the Americans, um, they are coming. Answer my Jeez. question. I've asked you a question. Answer my question. Yes. I about about it. Like you haven't tested before. Even when you asked you, I've tested it here. Yeah. So how do you see? Yes. Yeah. The time I tested it, I was having pneumonia, so it was worsening the issue. It was worsening the issue. So now I can test it, but it's nice. Mm. The only thing is that uh, maybe they add a bit of sugar if you if you ask them to add a bit. Of sugar. Yeah, wait to ask them. That's. Uh, but the thing is nice. So generally about Ghanaian street foods, how do you see it? Ghanaian street foods, they are a bunch of... Let me use what? nice words. They are not nice. They are unhealthy. Mostly unhealthy. Why, like, why do you think they are unhealthy? Because something like uh, Liha. Mm. What do you think? It's Liha. Too behind. Not Liha, not Liha. Um, what do you mean? Soya. Soya? So yeah. Yes, it's too dehydrated. I've not seen, I've not witnessed the process before actually. It's very dehydrated. So, most of the things you say here, in Nigeria, we, we find fruits around, like um, uh, cucumber and all of that. There are, there are, no, they, they are expensive because people don't find it. People don't even buy it much. Y- yes, that's that's uh-huh. the problem with that. We and prefer then, our local banku with fufu, with kokonte, which is much very, more than. Which is very unhealthy. What shows that it's unhealthy? The only, the only soup that looks like food, like something that should be taken mm-hmm. is uh, what do they call it? Um, <laughs> opera soup. Apart from that, the other ones are just a bunch of wait, water. Wait, just is like it? Eating starch with water. You, you've said this question, like you said some, this some, some time ago. Is it that you are new? Is it because you are new in Ghana or you just decided not to give attention to any other Ghanaian food? Oh, and we have same here in Ghana. There are lots, there are thousands of Ghana foods that you've never tasted before. There are vegetables there? A lot. Why are they not selling things? Because if you go to something, you said meat meat is nice. Yes. It's good to consume. Among Ghanaians and Nigerians, which are we we people eat meat most like most Ghanaians. It's a lie. Because they like Ghanaians love eggs. Everybody knows Ghanaians for eggs. See, Ghana, uh-huh. they like comfort more than actually. As in comfort, that's in what? Anything comfort means comfort. Like, you know, meat, when you get in the fire, it's quite good. <laughs> you get sugar, it's quite good. All of these comforting things, they like it. So that- but, but fortunately for them, mm-hmm. the egg is good for our health. Meat is good for our health. But the other ones, they are not good. But the bottom line is that they are going there not because they know it's good, but they are going there because it is. See, if you put this, <laughs> I'm posting it. What if you get not the video? Not because, listen, not because 
that means it's just because they want something sweet. Something sweet. Yes. It's, it's the fact that Ghanaians love sweet food. Yes. But the fact that you are saying Ghanaians eat junk food, like they, I don't. You eat a whole fucking lot of a shit. How can somebody? Everybody eats. Listen, listen, everybody everybody eats junk food. Listen to me. <coughs> you put watch it. That is rice and beans. Mm-hmm. And you pour curry. Yes. And then when we are done eating food, mm-hmm. you are like most people don't feel like drinking water. The people who sell food, they don't sell water. It's because of the education around you. Education? We, we were told that you Force must education. wait. You must you must not eat immediately after. Like you must not drink immediately right. after eating. So most Ghanaians. After eating, they wait for something like 30 minutes. Even if they are thirsty, they will wow. still wait. For, because it is to us, okay. we are educated that we are supposed to stay 30 minutes after eating before we drink water. Without reason? What reason? What is it going to do to you if you eat? With a sense that buy water and pour water inside. Can you eat it again? See, let me tell you something. How, how, how will you feel like you buy Our water place. and then you pour water Our inside? Place. If, you buy, if you are eating food, mm. you have to have water. Because we believe that for emergency reasons, maybe yes. when, when you get choked. Yes. Also, so and if you are eating food and you are not like my mother, if you are eating food for some time, if you are, if you are drink, uh, taking water, my mother will hit you. They drink water, you are, you are you are not you are not stupid. On an African so that will digest in your body. On an African's dining table, all right. There's, there must surely be water. If there's no water, then it's not a dining table. But not in Ghana. Everywhere. What are you talking about? What I is swear there? it's everywhere. So why is your culture not reflected? In the, in the things like the restaurant, because if you go to Nigeria, the way they do it in the that is the, the problem. Home. That is the Why? problem. In Ghana. That because is the problem in Ghana. That is the actual problem in Ghana. So for Ghana, no, Ghana. <laughs> for what? That means they forgot. Okay, so me agreeing that uh, Nigeria is the giant of Africa. We also agree that Ghana is the gateway to Africa. The gateway to Africa. Mm-hmm. What are they? What is Ghana bringing to Africa? Ghana is a gateway. Ghana doesn't bring anything. Ghana is Africa, and Ghana is the way to Africa. Ah, so you mean you can't travel to uh, another country apart from Britain? Gate, gateway to Africa. When what they when they gateway? mean something is gateway to Africa, what does mm-hmm. it mean by a gate? Okay, you understand some gateways. Where you, you pass to me when you people. when you want to enjoy Gate Africa, people. Africa at first. So what do you first what do you offer? That is a you lot, cannot be a lot. without offering something. You, you've been in you've been in Ghanaian system for how many years or how many days? Um, I can bet you that now you've not visited any tourist attraction. Tell me the one you visited. Now we are telling you now we are asking you what are you offering? Ghana you said, Ghana, is Ghana offers a lot. We have tourism, right. we have food, different, diverse food. types of... Yes, no, no, no. When diverse types of food. food. Mm. Move Ghana. But when why you talk about food? Ah. You've, you not seen, food. you've not seen anything. No. This is, you have, no. you, oh, the only thing you display is some bunch of meat. And what? A, what you a see? A huge lump of uh, uh, um, this unhealthy what? food. I'm telling you something. What you see on the streets of Ghana is something that is universal. Anybody eats it. You can see a Muslim eating it, a Christian eating it, um, uh, somebody from Sisala, somebody from is it, uh, Dambala or whatever. Okay. They all eat. So you can, no matter what, like where you're coming from, when you are on the streets in Ghana, you never get, like, you never go hungry unless you decided not to eat. Even if you're Nigerian, you still get food. When you go to the street right now, you get Indomie to eat, which is similar in Nigeria. That's that's that to me. That is where I see that you people are having the problem because you think Ghanaian food, like street food, like Ghanaian food, should be out there displayed on the streets for you to have. Most of the foods that we have are displayed in our homes. In a typical Ghanaian, something like kukunte is now recently. Oh my God, like, you did not even understand. They are no more selling kukunte as it you or like it used to be common at first. That was try. Let me tell you something. If mm. you go to Nigerian restaurants, mm. maybe in my state, you see the favorite soup, the four mm. you see uh, vegetable soup, you see light soup, you see oha soup, you see vitamin soup, you see a lot of Nigerian soup. There is some there is Even some, some you don't even try in your place, in your, in your home. 
you see it is great. But so when people come to, to this guy you see here is a friend of mine, he's also a YouTuber. A very small YouTuber. A very small <laughs> I'm a very but, small YouTuber. What name do you have? Like the name you're using right now? How to how to code. How to code. Yes. So if you are somebody that is into coding, you can kindly check him out. Py Python to be specific. I'm in Python right now. By the way, is no Ghanaian should subscribe to his channel because he's always hey, hello, ditching, excuse me. He's always ditching Ghanaians. No, 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 I don't I love Ghanaian, but I just have to tell you the truth. Your what? food is not so healthy. That's the point. Food is not but you've been living in Ghana for long. Listen, you can't pour curry mm -hmm. inside curry that is dehydrated that it needs like when you eat it, this water. You pour, listen to me. Wait, you pour curry inside. Uh, watch it. There's also medium water. You <laughs> you mix it, eat it, and then expect don't don't drink water. How do you do that? You eat it and you don't drink water. We don't drink don't water, water, water immediately. We don't drink water, water and but then, not immediately. And then when you talk about uh, food, what you go for? You pour water. The thing you used to eat it is a uh, light soup. Mm -hmm. It's not like water. You pour water in uh, fufu, fufu like rubber. Mm -hmm. Fufu like it is too sticky, mm -hmm. like rubber. Mm -hmm. So you, when you eat it, the enzyme in your body will just finish you because there's no nothing to hold. There's no surface area to digest the food. So to you, you love Ghanaians. Ghanaians are wonderful. And you want Ghanaians to subscribe to your YouTube channel? Of course. All right. Yeah, just going to do that. Just that. Support the okay. <laughs> Subscribe to uh, the handle is uh, at um at how to code I, I, how underscore to code how underscore to code yes the uh, two is like figure two the number two yes all right all right so nice seeing for, you thank you for having me <laughs> and then um, what your five years I know the the five uh, are you I'm not gonna give you one for Ghana? Fine, fine, please come back. Give, 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 give me give me one nice make that, that'll be another topic for another day. Right. <laughs> see you. All right, see you. <laughs> that's a friend of mine that is a Nigerian. He's been in Ghana for two years, and that's how he thinks about Ghanaian foods. So you can also share your thoughts in the comment section. Please don't no hate comments about this. That's what he's just opinions. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.